So let me point out the devices that we're going to be using during this demo. And then I'll introduce you to the scenario. And then we'll get into the demo. So the devices on the screen are on the left is an iPhone that belongs to Jack. On the right, we have a few desktops, one of which is Elizabeth Swan and George Washington and Jack Sparrow or Jack, who also owns the iPhone, has a desktop. Now, we won't be dealing with Jack or George's desktops because they don't, they're not germane to this particular demo. Um, George's is somewhat, but the same things I'm going to do on Elizabeth Swan's desktop um, are going to be the same things that we would do to George's desktop. So let's get started. The scenario. Jack is an executive. He has an executive briefing today with a customer. Customer ABC, we'll call them. Customer ABC is on their way um, to a scheduled meeting that will be later on today. Jack is uh, wanting to work on a presentation and maybe change some numbers in Excel spreadsheet. Jack is a high, highly mobile worker. He's an executive that doesn't carry around a laptop or anything like that. At most, he'll carry his iPad and iPhone. Or I should say his iPhone is always close at hand and sometimes he carries his iPad. Elizabeth and George are on staff or on um, Jack's staff. So they support Jack. They are supporting him in the presentation and uh, the numbers that are on the spreadsheet or the um, customer quote, let's call it. So again, Jack is ready or, or readying himself for a, an executive briefing later on that day with customer ABC and he now needs to reach out to his staff. He picks up his iPhone. He uses the Verizon Jabber client to communicate and we will communicate. We'll go to contacts. Now he needs to communicate with Liz and George. So we'll pick Liz first. Okay, now we'll just add George. Lower hand right, uh, lower right hand, we'll do the little plus sign, which is common on iPhone apps. Um, lower right again, plus add a participant, and then we'll add George. Okay, we'll click done there. Now before I say anything here, or before Jack starts chatting with his staff members, let's look over to what happened on Liz's desktop. She got a pop-up toast to join a group chat. Now, George got the same thing, but I won't show you that. It's exactly the same. So, Jack is going to tell Liz and George that he needs to meet. Liz responds back, and George does the same. So, all Jack needs to do is what he's always accustomed to doing, regardless if he has Verizon UCAS or not. He goes to his back office calendaring application, which is in this case is Exchange, and he's going to go to his calendar. And he's going to create a new meeting. Plus sign again. Add a new calendar invite. Title is staff meeting. And the date and day time look good to me. We click on people. We know we're going to invite Liz. We're going to invite George. We click done. And there's a location. Now the location is WebEx. So all Jack needs to do is put at WebEx. 
nothing more. Let's put a description and maybe he has some agenda items there, one and two, and we'll click save. Done. Now that's your normal back office calendaring system um, in Exchange, whether it's Office 365, Exchange on-prem, doesn't matter. So now that this meeting has been scheduled, um, what Elizabeth does, obviously gets that in her mail, and we'll go ahead and click Accept here. <clears throat> uh, we'll dismiss this for now, and we'll go ahead and go into the calendar. Okay, so let's go into the calendar, and let's see what that calendar invite looks like. So it's time for the meeting, and um, Liz is going to join that meeting. As you can see, in her calendar invite, all the pertinent information for WebEx is already there. Whether she be on a mobile device, desktop, or in the proximity of a telepresence unit. But, as I said before, she's a desktop user, and she knows to click on the URL, which will bring up a web browser. She clicks on that, and that, of course, starts the familiar WebEx application, or WebEx meeting. She goes into Jack Sparrow's personal room. She can click Join, and Jack hasn't started the meeting yet, so she'll kind of be put on hold waiting for Jack to start the meeting. Now, back to Jack's iPhone. It's time for the meeting. He has an indication of that on his phone. He get, gets an alert from that from his uh, back office calendaring system. He goes into his meeting. All he needs to do is go into the body. And all the pertinent information for him to join the meeting is there. Again, whether he be on the desktop, his mobile device, or in proximity to a telepresence unit. In this case, we're going to go ahead and do the proximity um, URL. Since he's in the executive briefing room already preparing for his presentation with ABC Company later, so he can just start the, uh, or click on the URL for proximity. So let's transition over so you can see the telepresence unit on the wall. All he needs to do to start his meeting is click on the proximity URL. Now the proximity URL senses that it's in proximity of this telepresence unit because I have this iPhone close to the telepresence unit. Now, as you can see, um, the telepresence unit automatically joined the WebEx CMR session. At this point, all Jack needed to do is know his host PIN number, which I put in. Also, at this point, these two meetings, if you're technically uh, savvy and know that we have a WebEx portion and we have a audio video telepresence portion, and now we're using the power and ability of meeting rooms, you can see that we have full video collaboration, audio, video, and screen share. And now Jack can work with his team to correct the PowerPoint presentation or add to the PowerPoint presentation and work on the Excel document and they can send him those documents so he can give his presentation to ABC Company. As you can see this was easy, there was nothing strange, and there was nothing that we needed to learn other than Jack needing to know his PIN number and he needed to know that it was going to be at WebEx where this meeting, their collaboration 
uh, meeting was going to uh, take place. I hope this has shown the power of Verizon's UCAS and how easy it is for an executive to meet with his staff to collaborate on any number of um, documents or presentations and how easy it is to have a telepresence unit um, without any prior knowledge of Jack um, join this telepresence conference or this Cisco meeting room conference.